Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Celtic Prayer. I've been away for a few weeks and now I have returned. Uh, my name is Reverend Helen Holbrook and uh, we'll start with our call to prayer. And I'm the chaplain at St. John's College. Oops. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, and this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek the Creator in God's temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek God with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek the Creator with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek God with all your mind? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. And our scripture readings today, out of our uh, Celtic uh, daily prayer book, uh, for me, the 17th, uh, Psalm 19, 1 to 3. Psalm 19, 1 to 3. How clearly the sky reveals God's glory. How plainly it shows what he has done. Each day announces it to the following day. Each night repeats it to the next. No speech or words are used. No sound is heard. And our next reading is from Isaiah 26, 2 to 4 and 7 to 9. Open the gates and let the faithful no nation enter. The nation whose people do what is right. You, Lord, give perfect peace to those who keep their purpose firm and put their trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. He will always protect us. And then seven to nine, Lord, you make the path smooth for good people. The road they travel is level. We follow your will and put our hope in you. You are all that we desire. At night, I long for you with all my heart. When you judge the earth and its people, they will all learn what justice is. And then Romans 1 verse 20. Ever since God created the world, his invisible qualities, both his eternal and power, and his divine nature, have been clearly seen. They are perceived in the things that God has made, so that those people have no excuse at all. And the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our reflection for the day for May 17th, when Aden... Celtic saint, stopped the people he met and greeted them. One of his frequent questions was, Do you believe in Christ, or are you a Christian? In the kingdom of Northumbria, it was a fair question. If they said yes, it could be for a number of reasons. They could have been baptized years ago by the Roman missionary Polynius. They might have, have encountered some of Aden's friends. They could have come to the faith because of the contagious love for God they saw in the life of the relative or neighbor. They might be British and Anglo-Saxon, might easily be a believer who had grown up with parents and grandparents also trusting Christ. Those who told Aidan they did not believe found that he listened carefully and helped them to understand the experience of the God they had already taken notice of, but told no one about. He knew God was already at work, and no one had been left without a witness. 
If another person did not speak to them, then creation itself spoke of God's desire to be known by us all. And so we have a reflection, of course, uh, drawing a notice of some of the Bible readings about how we experience a, a sense of the divine through nature itself. A reminder of Christian, a, cre a creation, a reminder that God's hand is all around us. And for many people, it is that walk, including myself, uh, where walking, and I often will walk, uh, uh, to uh, St. John's College, and the beauty that surrounds me. How beautiful it was the other day when I was walking by and there were three deer, maybe 12 feet from me. They were not frightened. And that sense of gentleness and peace was a reminder to myself that God brings me peace and love and wherever I go, if I pay attention to it. Um, Many people have taken on the Camino, and that is that long pilgrimage uh, that can start in France all the way to Portugal. And people do walk, and they've been doing it for over a thousand years. And many have said that those who never believed, that trip in itself has made them more aware of something greater than themselves. And it is something that has struck everybody. And uh, so these are the reminders that are all around us every day. So truly, the presence of God can be felt uh, visually or in the senses and in the beauty around us. Many will, I know Facebook is full of many pictures of a sunset that strikes a person. Or a huge rainbow, people will stop and whatever they're doing, just to look at that beautiful rainbow as a promise as something that is beautiful, uh, something that is so full of color, that is a reminder to them. So many works of art and paintings of people trying to capture the beauty around them. What is filling with our Facebook pages now or Instagram are pictures of people seeing flowers. I recently picked, uh, took a picture of a beautiful tulip that was in the front of my um yard and it really struck me this is a feisty little fella because my tulips tried to come up once and then it snowed and it went back down again and then it came up again and it snowed and it went back down again and the third time it snowed and it came back down but eventually on the fourth try it rose and now i have three tulips and just a reminder that um to keep trying even though it might there might be snow on top of you, that you when growth wants to come in, when when it, there is life, nothing can stop life from happening or good things from happening, and we see that all around us, especially in nature. What a beautiful gift and a lesson for me to reflect upon. So may you today open your eyes and sense, which I know so many people can share something in their lives. And uh, just uh, sense God's presence. And what is that presence telling you about your life and about our call? Amen. Sing that song. Ah, oh, yes, uh, by Jim Kroger, uh, Here by the Water. I'll try my best. <laughs> South Field of Clover. Moon shining over the valley, joining the song of the river to the great river of the great good. As it enfolds me, somehow it holds me together. I realize I've been singing, still it comes ringing. Clearer than clear, here by the water, I'll build an altar to praise you. Out of the stones that I found here, I'll set them down here, rough as they are. Knowing you can make me holy, 
Knowing you can make them holy. Knowing you can make them holy. I think our yearning kept on returning to move me. Down roads I've never had chosen. Half the time frozen, too numb to feel. And know it was stormy, hope it was for me a learning. Blood on the road wasn't mine though. Knowing you can make them holy. Knowing you can make me holy. Knowing you can make them holy. Let us take this time now for us to lift up our own prayers and our reflections. Of course, I I am lifting up prayers uh, all over the world and especially in the in North America, as we continue to grapple with racism, with conspiracy theories that inflame people who are not as well to such terrible actions uh, to hurt others, to kill others. Lord God, for your gift of healing for all these nations, for all those in fear, seeking to make a sense of their world, by blaming the other. Let us lift up all those prayers in the name of the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Oh God, we continue to pray uh, for all those in for our province and across the world still struggling with COVID, for those whose immunity levels are quite low and chronic illnesses have put them in a susceptible way of catching the COVID. And for those who are still recovering, who are more like a flu, we lift all of them up and we pray that we will not have a variant that will cause a great deal of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the university campus as it slowly returns, especially during summer session, uh, to in-class learning and prepare us for the fall as the whole campus will plan to return and be with all those students who have had not a chance to do in-class learning for some time. May we be a welcoming campus and listening campus so we can journey with those as they return to something that is unfamiliar. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ is a light Illuminate and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me. Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me. Lowly and meek yet all-powerful, be in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. Lowly and meek yet all-powerful, Christ as a light, Christ as a shield. Christ beside me on my left and my right. The peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Creator, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May you have a continued week. and Be blessed this week. And uh, hopefully I can get maybe one verse of this. As we hope in the Lord, we will gain our strength. We will run for miles. We will stand up straight. We will not grow weary. We will not grow faint. On the wings of an eagle, we will rise. On the wings of an eagle, we will rise. On the wings of an eagle, we will rise. God bless and take care.